Hi all, I just want to run you through a real quick solution that I've built this morning. It took me less than an hour just to chuck a form and a workflow and some doc gen together. But I've taken some inspiration around what Nintex has done recently internally for our working from home agreement. I think we've come to the consensus that most people now are required slash encouraged um, to be working from home to improve the, the social distancing measures that are in place, very sensible. Um, but I think that it shouldn't excuse the correct process and the correct compliance and auditing governing um, and the safety measures to ensure employee productivity is in place while we do so. Um, so I've added a little workflow around what something that, that Nintex did recently, uh, just to make sure that you have the correct measures in place when you are working from home uh, to guarantee similar amount of productivity to when you're in the office. So. Like I said, put together a form and workflow. So I'll just quickly tour you through what I built originally. So this is using Nintex Workflow Cloud, created the form. This one's gonna be authenticated to the users that are in this tenancy. What that gives me is the ability to recognize who's filling in the form. So I don't need controls and fields for things like first name, last name, email, manager email, so on and so forth. If that's not something that's possible, uh, you can have this as a public anonymous form, so anyone with the form URL, uh, and I've ticked the box for an Intex mobile. So I'm able to jump onto the free Nintex mobile app from Play Store and the uh, iOS stores, uh, log in effectively with the Workflow Cloud URL and have this form in my pocket, if you like. Design the form. So a bit of a label, company logo, you probably want to replace this one. A bit of a blurb about what the, comp the work from home agreement is. If you have that procedure somewhere, obviously adding that hyperlink is something that we support through the link capability. Uh, I've got a checkbox here. Do does the above comply with what you have at home? Yes, no. If if no, then we're going to add a bit of explanation because we're going to write that to the manager to make an exception if if possible. Uh, do you have an injury, and do you have any supporting physician documentation that says? that injury won't impede you actually working from home and um, the required signature. So really quick, really easy form. And then that feeds the workflow. So we're gonna get some manager information from the request. Now we know who's logged in. This again, this is that workflow initiator set of variables that we've got. So we know first name, last name, email. Uh, we're not letting a on behalf of fill this in. So we're gonna get some manager info and if the setup does not comply with the work from home arrangement, then we're going to ask the manager, are they willing to make an, an exception uh, through a task form? Uh, we're going to generate a document from a Word document. We're going to add all that information as a receipt of work from home, and we're going to send that on as an email. So we'll, we'll run through the happy path. Company X says, I work from home agreement. Logo would go in here. Does your work from home arrangement comply with the above? Yes, I have a desk. Yes, it's adjustable. Yes, I have adequate lighting. Uh, so on and so forth. So we'll say yes. That's going to disappear my no. I don't have an injury, so I don't need to add any documentation. But if I wanted to, I could simply select the files from my machine. Sign here. Let's just give that a sign. This is going to pass that image back into the workflow to then add to my docjet. So submit. Once they submit, it's going to redirect. This can redirect anywhere you need it to. So if you want to take them to some health and safety advice video, if you want to take them to the Department of Health website for the latest update, I've just redirected to nintex.com as an example. And that's going to kick off my workflow. So we might have a quick look and check that the workflow is uh, running. So we'll go to my instances tab. And then what I'll do is I'll show you what would have happened with the, the exceptions path. So that work from home agreement is running 12.20 p.m. Let's look at the start data first of all. So this is that CTX underscore user is my authenticated form information. So my workflow initiator information that's coming in from Azure AD because it's an authenticated form to uh, a federated instance of Azure AD. Like I said, doesn't necessarily have to be that way. You can have that public anonymous form. Scroll down, a few things have happened. Quick refresh, because I did just hear a ping in the background, so I think that's an email. So we've got the manager's details. We've run if true, wasn't true, so we're just gonna generate document, send an email. So let's have a quick look, first of all, at the document. 
So this is the template of that document. You'll see here all these sort of squiggly tags that will get replaced by the real life information. That's gone into OneDrive for me here. Let's just have a squiz at that. There we go. There's all the information about me, the date, time. That's highly configurable. Uh, so don't worry that it's in US date format if that's not your, your format. That just so happens to be where my dev demo tenant is. Got the signature in there and the email that's come through. Hello, Chris, attached is your work from home document. Please keep this for your own records. Reach out to HR, your manager, if you've got any questions. Now, what about the unhappy path? So we'll just jump back to the workflow and have a quick look at the unhappy path. So work from home agreement. This is gonna loop in the manager. So if you aren't set up or you're non-compliant with the agreement, we're gonna use that AD lookup. So get the manager details of the person that's doing the request. And we're gonna run if the work from home arrangement does not comply. So if you left that as off um, and added some information, uh, that would not comply. So we're gonna assign a task using that manager lookup. It's a manager email down there. It's a task form that we're gonna send uh, because if they reject it, we want some more commentary. We've got our message body there, we're adding some variables. And then if they reject, send an email, but if they're happy to make an exception, then we just approve it. So what does that look like? Well, I dummied one earlier up with my boss. So from to dear insert manager name here, your team member has completed a work from home agreement. Do you approve, reject, tick the form. Now, because I'm an administrator, I can have a look at what that form might look like within my manager's uh, login. So I'll just go to tasks here and all active tasks. Let's have a look at the task form that would have come in as a hyperlink in that email. Here you go. All that information, approve, reject, if they're happy, unhappy. Uh, explanation that's been brought in from the form. I live in a cave. Um, let's just submit. So my manager's offered me to work from his place. Task has been completed successfully. Then we're gonna generate that document. Then we're gonna send that email. So real quick and easy one, just to get into your environment. I have exported this as a unique key. There we go, generate that key, copy the key. So that's gonna be up on gallery.nintex.com. So come into your own environment, click on import, paste that key, give that a new name new work from home workflow and import. What I'll also provide is the Nintex, uh, is the work from home agreement. So if you use the same variable information, that should work just nicely. The only thing that you will need to do is replace my connections to Azure AD if you wanna use Azure AD and to uh, OneDrive if you wanna use OneDrive as well for business. So you'll need to add those two under connections in Workflow Cloud real quick, real easy, uh, and then you'll be able to use them from the dropdown. Cool, cool, hope you enjoyed that.